Hey guys, welcome back to the Cult Classic Kids Show, and here's a quick video to just discuss my interactions with the Sweet Baby Ink Detected Discord server. It's been a lot of false framing when it comes to the server, when it comes to Kabrutus, the creator of the Sweet Baby Ink Detected uh, Steam Curator page, and I really just want to give my genuine thoughts with my interactions with not just the Discord server itself, but Kabrutus himself as a person. Now, Kabrutus himself as a person, um, Dude is mad chill. Like, really, when you listen to, you know, listen to him talk on his live streams, at the end of the day, he's just a gamer through and through. And and he is not a violent person. He's not a, you know, he's not a bad person that he's being framed to be. He just is a general, your, your general average gamer that happens to live in Brazil, who really just has, takes issue with the way that video games are developed in modern day. And you have to understand, video games in Brazil are insanely overpriced. Um, most people in Brazil, unfortunately, seem to be, you know, very impoverished. They can't really afford video games like that. That's why um, there's a lot of, uh, essentially, there's a lot of piracy that goes on in the country of Brazil. And it's not because Brazilian gamers don't want to buy games. It's simply because they can't afford video games over there. When, you know, you have a country that's deeply impoverished, you know, and video games cost essentially a whole paycheck, really, it seems like. Unfortunately, people that would like to go down the route of, you know, buying the video game, owning the video game, they don't really have that luxury. They end up considering, you know, donning the eye patch. And can you blame them when really they can't afford to play video games like at all. Like it's not even within reason. Like we complain here in America about the $70 price tag. And while that's still steep and, and terrible in its own right, especially with how disrespectful video games are uh, in terms of the developers, the way that they release broken games, the way that they release games that seek to disrespect the very people they're asking to buy their game to begin with. Um, yeah, it, it you know, the seventy dollars price tag is is a lot. Now imagine in Brazil, where it is a, a overly inflated the price of video games. So he's just the type of dude like he wants his video games that he pays for to be actually good. Like he doesn't want to be pandered to. He doesn't want political agendas to be shoved into his video games. He just wants good video games, and he just wants to. You know, you know. I was listening to him in his live stream yesterday. He's like, man, uh, one day, you know. I hope to be able to, you know, live a, you know, a life where I have, you know, family and and he seeks to essentially kind of leave Brazil because, well, he just doesn't see any hope of being there, unfortunately, with how Brazil is. But I like, you know, Cabrutus. Uh, we DM each other. He's mad chill. You know, he he has a lot of goals and really he came into all this and he was kind of just thrown into this situation. He just while it wasn't what he expected, he's just grown to embrace it like a man. And I have to respect that about Cabrutus. He's he's a really cool dude. Now, getting into um, the Sweet Baby Ink Detected Discord server now, um, really, it's, it's a dude bro server. Um, it's being false framed into being this extremist gathering. Come on, man. Let, let's be real now. First off, I want to say... I am, you know, I call myself a seventh gen incarnate because, well, you know, I've I've lived life on the 360 days fighting, you know, throwing throwing uh, verbal fists. All right. Not just jabs, but hooks and uppercuts, baby. I didn't I didn't back down haymakers, man. That's how I was back in the day. And I embrace it. You know, video games like gaming as a culture has never been you have to act correctly you know gaming has always been juvenile gaming has always been uh you know dudes really and me uh because i would you know i'm the tomboy you know queen of the tomboys here you're not know, talking shit acting tough you know dude bro stuff man that's how gaming has always been and all of a sudden journalists uh people in the industry the companies themselves are telling us you know for the past 10 years that you can't let gaming be gaming how it was anymore. You have to change. Gaming has to change. And to that, a lot of us say, go fuck yourself. But in regards to the Sweet Baby Ink Detected 
Discord server, my honest, genuine thoughts. So first off, I spent about four to five times just chilling in the voice chat, um, seeing what people were writing in uh, general nonsense and whatnot. And um, every time I'd be in the voice chat, I'd spend an hour there, two hours there, here and there. So I I've had, you know, different days where I've spent a couple hours here, a couple hours there. And um, from what I've encountered, it is a bunch of different dudes. Um, I don't think I encountered another female, but it, it seems to be just a bunch of dudes. There seem to be women that have avatars, but they tend... It's one of those things where since this... This Discord server is not locked down. It's completely open for anyone to jump into. Um, people do have a hard time trusting people. And it, admittedly so, you know? And I, I totally understand people don't want to jump in this server. I, I don't blame you because who knows who's in here. There's definitely journalists keeping tabs. Maybe the FBI is involved. I don't know. Maybe, you know, these three-letter government agencies are involved spying. There's definitely some form of spying involved. Multiple journalists have been exposed for it already. So I don't blame someone for not wanting to hang out in Sweet Baby. I mean, in the Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, detected, you know, Discord server. I completely understand. I had to think about it for a second. But man, I'm not here to do anything nefarious. I'm just here to have fun, meet new people, talk some nonsense. I'm a homebody by nature. So I definitely uh, like to, you know, talk some shit while I'm playing my video games that's just how I am personally or to just get to know people just be involved in the conversation and being in the voice chats has been very interesting to say the least there's a bunch of different dudes from all sorts of walks of life if it be from America from Russia from the UK um, from India you could tell by accents that there's a bunch of different people that are just there to chill and get to know and see who's here like you know, it's a, it's a lot of this is out of curiosity. And since this Discord server, they weren't expecting to get thousands upon thousands of, of people jumping in. Uh, it was not prepared to properly moderate for thousands upon thousands of people. Just, uh, you know, a hundred, it seemed like off rip. And it shows, you know, when I was in a voice chat one time, one of the moderators was moderating over 6,000 people by himself. You know, honestly speaking, he was very, very, uh, it, it was difficult for him. And unfortunately, since this is a Discord server that anybody and their mother could jump into, unfortunately, there are nefarious people that are there. Some are spying, some are, e you know, either for or against Sweet Baby Inc. Also, you know, being nefarious in nature. There are definitely um, trolls that are trying to start shit. But there are also provocateurs that are pro Sweet Baby Inc. that certainly are trying to rile up and stir the pot. Anything to get individuals to say things that are out of line and out of context. And the mods, from what I saw, were doing everything in their power to control that while trying to spot people that do happen to be up to nefariousness, if it be very modestly or very intently showing, you know, this, uh, this attempt outright. Uh, it, it's very difficult, you know, it's, it's one of those things where these are people that feel disenfranchised from their hobby. And now, motherfuckers, if it be in the media, or if it be Sweet Baby Inc., uh, you know, Chris Kindred saying that we're, we're Yahtzees and that, oh, well, uh, you know, they, you know, that group should be shut down. You are chasing gamers, longtime gamers, not, not tourists. But long time gamers, you're chasing them out of their hobby. And you're and they've all conglomerated, a bunch of them, not all of them, but a bunch of them have conglomerated to this Discord space. And you're even saying that they shouldn't have this space for themselves. And then they have the nerve to call people extremists, call us extremists. And when it's like you are purposely keeping people from being able to have a space at all, and you call that you call them the extreme ones. You sound very extreme. You know, it, it's ridiculous that they just sling all this nonsense. And really, from what I've encountered from the people that actually are genuinely there for the conversation to get to know people, um, you know, there, there's the usual dude bro gamer bullshit, talking a little shit here or getting to know each other, having debates, um, discussing, wondering who's spying while we're in the voice chat and there's people that's been muted for hours, like... There's all sorts of stuff going on, really. And um, to really sit here and, and say that it's it's a nefarious group overall, 
that's not the that is not at all the case. There's definitely a lot of people that just feel disenfranchised and that are standing with Cabrutus on this. We're not gonna back down. Cabrutus was clearly done wrong by by Chris Kindred, and until that's acknowledged, nobody's backing down. It it is what it is, and um, the mods are continuing to clean up the server. They definitely did wipe out a lot of nonsense. Once again, we can't tell who, what side it's from because there are bad actors that are for and against Sweet Baby Inc. that are up to some BS, and you're going to have that. It just is what it is. But the people there seem to be pretty chill. Um, when they found out I was a chick and when I was talking in the chat, you know, I got the little hazing that, that I used, that I remember getting back in the day, you know, for being a chick in the gaming space. Um, they asked me a few questions to, you know, see if I was one of you know spying or stuff like that or if i was a real gamer girl and whatnot they asked me silly stuff like um for example what's your favorite fallout and i was supposed to be like i guess they were expecting me to say fallout 76 or something but um when i said essentially can't decide between fallout 3 and fallout new vegas they 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 knew i had decent taste and they grew to respect me rather quickly after a minor hazing and and I was like, hey, you know, at the end of the day, if you really need proof, go check out my YouTube channel. Hey, shameless self-plug, baby. <laughs> but hey, that, that showed them right away that I'm the real fucking deal. And uh, they actually grew to respect me, a lot of them in there. So that was cool, definitely. I uh, wasn't at all bothered or felt like I was being, you know, kicked to the curb or being mistreated. I understand why they were like, oh, well, there's, you know, there's a girl here. Are they spying? Uh, you know, who are they... I get it, you know, there's a lot of wondering who's who at the end of the day, but also um, just the the general sentiment that uh, people just want to have this space and for it to be attacked this way um, just goes to show that they're not letting up and we're not letting up. So overall, uh, you know, I think it's cool. I'm going to hang out in the Sweet Baby Inc. Detected Discord server more uh, to, out of support. And that's because I don't back down and that's because from what I've seen from the main people that conglomerate there, they're not attempting to be bad actors. They just want to have a space that for people that feel do feel disenfranchised with modern day gaming because modern day gaming doesn't cater to the gamers. It caters to the fucking tourists. And we have a problem with that. But yeah, guys, um, that's just my, my general thought process. Um, it's been cool. I think that the people there are pretty chill. You know, some better than others, obviously, but it's a dude bro server, man. Get the fuck over it. There's no extremist nonsense going on. It's a fucking dude bro server. And if there is, there does happen to be nefarious people. They do, they are getting the boot. So, yeah, guys, um, by the way, you know, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to essentially get a thousand more subs every year that I did get, so... First year I started YouTube, got 1,000 uh, subs that year. Second year I got 2,000 subs that year. I'm trying to hit 3,000 subs this year, so I've already managed to reach 4,000. So, hey man, we're on our way to 5,000, so if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like what I got going on, consider becoming a channel member. It gets you instant access to the Discord. It gives you Ziggy emotes for when I do go live, and Ziggy's my cat who is uh, the GOAT. Okay, he runs the show here at the end of the day. So, uh, you know, that's what you get for becoming a channel member. Check out my merch. This is my hat. I think I, I like it. I've been wearing it a lot lately. Um, got t-shirts, got hoodies, got cups, got stickers. Check it out. It's in the description below. Follow me over on Twitter. That's where you can find me fighting the good fight. All right. Uh, you guys know what side I'm on, so you know my bias. If you agree with that, then, you know, cool. We're, you know, if you don't like that I have a bias, well, I'm, I'm telling you outright that I do have a bias. I support Cabrutus. Cabrutus is a fucking real one, and I respect that dude. And that's what it is, man. And we're standing our ground. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this. If you can like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitter, or kick if you'd like to continue the conversation. And guys, well, being said, I'm out. Peace.